Hi kids, you would have done a few lessons by now. I hope you're really enjoying the program. I really enjoyed writing the program for you. Now, what I'd like to share a story about you is about friendship. And imagine everybody here wants that friend, that, 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 this is my best mate. He, he's number one, he's it. Everybody wants one of those, right? Well, let me explain to you a simple story you'll understand. I was with a class at, uh, in a Sydney school at, at Lugano and I said to them, oh, hi guys, I, I met a girl last week. And we had a cup of coffee together. I sat down for 10 minutes and we talked and we're gonna get married. And they just looked at me. Uh, how long you known her for? I said, oh, for 10 minutes. Uh, are you sure? Oh, my, I am so deeply, madly in love with this girl. I want to marry her, have a family, get a house, get a holidays. I want the lot. I want to live with her forever. And they said, oh, Master Paul, they're really concerned. They go, maybe you could have maybe two or three more coffees before we make a decision. And then I joked and said, I'm sorry, everybody. I've known her for seven years and we're going to get married. And they started applauding me. Wow, fantastic, unreal. So, if you ask me honestly, or I asked you honestly, when you say this is your best mate, or well, for me, this is the person I'm gonna marry for the rest of my life. When you ask me that question, when did you fall in love? I won't be able to answer it. I won't be able to pinpoint the day, the minute, the hour, everything, to where I love this person. Right? But what I can tell you is that the way I got to that is doing the little things for each other, okay? So by picking up the pencil, oh, there you go, oh, thank you for that. And they say, oh, look, I'm getting a glass of water, would you like a glass? Oh, that'd be great, thanks. It's the little things, and eventually you turn around and go, I say, oh, who's this? Oh, this is my friend. Then you keep doing it for years and years as it go on, and you go, who's this? This is my best mate. You won't know when it happens. But if you want that friendship that's going to last forever, you need to do things for people. And doing things for people has a special chemical release called oxytocin. Okay? And what happens when it leaks, it, it, it gives you that nice feeling inside. But here's what's special. Every time you do something for someone and people see you do that, they get oxytocin as well. And then they want to do something nice for somebody. To get this keep going around, I think we'll have world peace. Now I'll share a little quick story. Um, Virgin Airlines, so the, the airlines up there had a day where the planes were grounded. And when I turned up to fly to Darwin, I could see a thousand people, maybe more people there, really upset. But I looked up at the flight, oh, it looks like I'm not going to Darwin on Virgin. So I rang up my wife and I gave her a ring and I said, can you find me another flight to Darwin? Yep, darling, no worries. So while she's looking, I'm looking around and I walk and I get to the end of the line, there was about 200 people in front of me waiting to get new tickets. I mean, so my wife brings me back and says, oh, I go to Jetstar. I looked up there, oh, there's about 20 people at Jetstar. I went, oh, this is fantastic. So I popped up to Jetstar and I stood in the line and I looked ahead of me and there was a girl there on crutches and she was like, oh, oh so much pain and staggering, but her girlfriends around her were doing nothing. I looked over to my left and there was a guy sitting with another chair spare next to him. So I walked over and said, grab the chair, thank you. I walked over to the girl and when I got close to her, she goes, what do you want? And screamed at me. And I said, oh, I just got you a chair and I put the chair down and she said, oh, thank you. And her girlfriends thanked me, but that wasn't what's special. When I looked down the line, Everyone was smiling. And when I walked halfway down, a man stopped me and he says, mate, that was really nice. So I had changed 20 people in my line from one random act of kindness. Now, I want you to understand that, that doing these little things for your friends at school and it gets seen by other people, it's gonna be incredible. So I'm gonna let you know, you will get that best mate somewhere between seven days and seven years. Somewhere in there, you'll say, this is my best mate. But I'm saying to you, even more special, wouldn't it be great to have a classroom of friends that you can go and talk to anybody? Go and have a talk to your teacher and how 
you can mix around in your classes and, and really build that long lasting friendship. Thank you.